Silero is one of the most diverse planets in the entire Juno system. With sweeping valleys and soaring peaks, this small planet is sure to capture your interest. So today I'm going to show you how to get there, how to fly by, how to orbit, and how to land. To get to Silero, we're going to need a fairly powerful launch vehicle. And that's why I built a completely new rocket from the ground up made just to get to Silero. This thing is very powerful and it should be able to lift the mass to orbit to help us start our journey. At this point you're probably wondering how much Delta V we need to get to Silero. For a flyby with extra fuel we're going to want around 5400 meters per second of Delta V. For an orbit we're going to want around 5800 meters of Delta V. And for a landing a safe bet is 9600 meters per second of Delta V. To begin our journey, let's head to Low Drew Orbit. Once we're in Low Drew Orbit, feel free to configure your satellite in preparation for a Silero transfer. Whilst doing the transfer from Low Drew Orbit would save us some Delta V, in this video I'm going to boost up into Sun Orbit, just so it's a little bit easier for you to understand what's going on with the maneuver nodes. If you want to attempt to transfer within Low Drew Orbit, by all means give it a go, it may be a little harder, but it's definitely possible. Before we do boost out into Sun Orbit though, I'm going to time warp until Silero is in the optimal position for a transfer, so we're going to time warp until roughly the planets are in this orientation. Once we have our transfer window set up, it's time to boost into Juno Orbit. All we have to do is burn prograde until our orbit line is going out of Drew's sphere of influence. To avoid making the simple mistake I made whilst burning to get into Juno orbit, make sure you are behind Drew on its orbit and you are pointing away from Juno during your burn. And as you can see, after a long burn from our engine, we are now leaving Drew's sphere of influence. Once we've entered Juno's orbit, we're going to set up a planned burn. To do this, click on the orbit line very close to your craft so we can start doing this burn as soon as we get into Juno orbit. Then click planned burn here. Once we've created the planned burn, let's quickly select Silero so we can see where we're going to go. You can do this by searching Silero in the top bar, clicking Silero and then clicking the select on the right. Now let's start configuring our planned burn so we can make an efficient burn towards Silero. Providing you followed a straight flight plan, the only gizmos you should need to change on the planned burn is the normal anti-normal gizmo. For reference, it's the green one. Simply start dragging the green gizmo until you get into a Silero transfer. You can tell you've got a Silero transfer by either seeing that there is a new orbit line where your orbit intercepts Silero orbit, or by seeing the planet and rocket icons are close to each other and have turned green. Next in the flight plan menu, click the rocket engine icon, and then click the lock icon. Make sure you have enough delta V in your fuel tank, otherwise you're going to need to stage halfway like I did and then click the time warp button, which will time warp you to the beginning of the burn. Now your rocket will automatically begin the burn. You don't have to do anything during this phase, just make sure the orbit is going in the correct direction. And now as you can see with the green rocket and planet icon, we have successfully completed our Silero transfer. Now all we need to do is time warp until we get to the Silero interception point. And now we have arrived at Silero's sphere of influence. Once we've entered the sphere of influence, we're going to go to the periapsis, and we're going to start burning our rocket in retrograde so we can begin to orbit the planet. Congratulations, you've now flown by and or orbited Silero. Next we're going to show you how to land on Silero. This can be more of a challenge than getting there itself, so let me show you the way I would do it. However, before I land I'm going to show you how my lander works using this art I made. My Silero lander shows off a few important features for landing on Silero, those being a heat shield, parachutes, and a descent engine. At the bottom of the lander you can see a rocket engine. This is the deorbit stage. We use this to get from orbit to within Silero's atmosphere without using the lander's fuel. My descent engine is just a solid rocket motor. On the next stage above that, we can see the heat shield stage. This is simply just an interstage with a heat shield on it, and we use this for two reasons. The first reason is so that we can survive the heating from re-entry of Silero's atmosphere, and the second reason is to present a large drag surface so we can slow down a lot before we start our engine. This means we have to waste less fuel. 
The final stage holds everything else we need. These are things such as the landing legs, the landing engine, the parachutes, the reaction control systems, and the command disc. To begin our deorbit into Silero, we're going to burn the deorbit motor at our apoapsis, whilst facing in retrograde. Once the motor is burned out, we should be within Silero's atmosphere, or in our case, on a collision course. Next, we're going to stage away the motor, which gives way to our heat shield. Now we're going to time warp until our heat shield hits the atmosphere at 50 km high. We should slow down a large amount until we get to our parachute deployment altitude. I've set mine to 17 km. Now the parachutes will deploy. Once they've inflated, we're going to stage away the heat shield and ignite the engine. The engine and the parachutes will now carry us down to around 1.5 km, where the parachutes will automatically cut. Once the parachutes have cut, the engine will then carry us down to an easy soft landing. While Silero landings can be hard, it's just a lot of trial and error with your lander. So go into Sandbox and give it a go. I would recommend setting up a Silero orbit spawn point quite low just so you don't hit the atmosphere at an insane speed and then you can test your lander. Hopefully now you've landed on Silero, in which case congratulations. If you haven't, keep trying and eventually you'll get it. Before we end the video, I'm going to show you some cool locations with their coordinates. Also, if you want to try any of the crafts I've used in this video, there will be links in the description to their posts. This video took a while to make, so I hope you like it. Tell me what you think about the art I put in. Of course, thanks to our Patreons for providing the music you can hear in this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.